All right, I'm in the puppy dog yard. We got some work to do in here today. Still haven't built their shelter. Waldo, you gonna help me? He's doing something. This area that had the fifth wheel here is all on level. So I need to get out here, break up all these rocks, level this out so the grass will grow in. So when I come in here with a mower, I'm not running into big holes, hitting big rocks. There's probably 412 shoes out here. Got to get them all picked up. As you can see, the weeds and the clovers and all that are starting to grow. Won't be long for a mowing. And so I want to get in here, fill in holes like that. They've got their own little trail system here. Where are you guys at? Yeah, there's Lily. What you digging, boy? You little dirt eater. And then I'm going to get over there and drill some holes in them new lick tubs I got. Get some mulch in them. I have a big pile of manure over here that the uh, neighbor had brought me over a couple scoops so we will be mixing that into some of these pots and making a compost pile all right let me get busy piece he sold them to me for. He had more, but that's all he wanted to give up. So I'm going to drill some holes in them. Yeah. 
hole. If you're happy and you know it, drill a hole. Happy. It's a good thing I live out in the boonies and nobody can see me. Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, Peter's on his way. One more. If you said I had a beautiful body, would I hold it against you? No, I wouldn't. some holes in you. All right, now let's go get some mulch. Mulchy mulch. That's about to stay. All right, let's get some mulch. Thank you very much. Look at that still. Good worm food. Start to get hungry. You guys hungry? Stick around in this video, and I'm gonna cook up some vittles on the grill. Let's get the work done first. Can't tell you how handy this gorilla cart is. Comes in on Used for a lot of things. Oh, there's worms. There's a lot of worms in this, that's good. Need the worms. Worms are very good for your garden. They make natural little air pockets in your soil. And at the same time, as they're tunneling, they're leaving their poop, which is great for the plants. All right, let's get this over there. Sorry for the wind, guys. But Mother Nature just doesn't listen to dog man. trips I'll spare you all that all right here's my pile of manure now this is first year manure so I'm gonna use very little of it 
in my pots. I'm just going to scoop a, maybe a quarter shovel full in each container because you don't want this stuff gets very hot. And so I'm just going to use it sparingly. Next year, this stuff will be really good. Probably just plant right in it. But we will get some of this mixed in to the older established uh, pots that have the soil, the good soil in it. And, uh, you know, this will be handy. This is good to start compost piles with. It does have a lot of heat to it. So, but we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do right now is cook some vittles. All right, guys, we got a, went to the post office, got a package. We're going to see what it is. It is from North Dakota, so I have a feeling that's probably from Mary in Texas. We will see. A hundred pocket knives. Couldn't find any of them. And what do we got? That looks like a plethora of goodies. Wow. There's some dish towels. I am reorganizing the pantry and I have way too much of some items. I hope the chili powder will be good to good use, Mary. You bet it will. And a pot holder. Can always use that. Very nice. Wow. That's a lot of chili powder. Pimenton. Can't say I've ever heard of that. Oh, paprika. Oh, it has a different language on it. We can always use that. Wow, look at all these spices. Chili powder, chili powder, chili powder, and you know what? I use a lot of chili powder, so, and I don't just put it in chili, I put it on a lot of things. Chili powder, onion powder, oregano, use a lot of oregano, Italian seasoning, this is awesome, Mary, thank you, garlic powder, Chili powder. Needless to say, I don't think I'll be buying any chili powder for quite a while. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Uh, you're a very generous person. You're always thinking of other people, not just my channel, but many other channels. So I appreciate you. All righty, righty, right. It's grilling time. Nothing fancy today. This will probably be the last time I cook on this grill. It's seen better days. Gonna get a new one. I've been marinating them beautiful pork ribs for a few hours now. These look like some pretty good ones too. A lot of meat on them. Usually there's bones. In my secret mad dog marinade sauce. Marinade. That's M A R. That's one word. And then nade, N-A-D-E, marinade. Or if you're marinating, that's mar, N-A-T-I-N. Nate. All right, let's go and let them dudes be. Oh, you know, we did some drilling, then we did some filling. And now we're doing some grilling. I love it. Ah, these ain't ready. Get out of here, Fly. Too early in the year for you. Yeah, let's move these up a little. Brand new bag of charcoal. Couldn't light it like the last time. Everything you buy today is just garbage. Makes me sick. All right, next thing you'll see is me eating on a plate. Okay, folks, put get you a plate. Here. This is just Van Camp pork and beans. I add a little brown sugar. Uh, a few other things, Worcestershire, ketchup, barbecue sauce, put them over here, and in here, it's going to be messy, ah, that's hot, ow, we'll just leave the corn in the bowl, oh, look at them puppies, 
Probably there ain't a whole lot of meat, but we'll get two of them there. This looks good. Then I'm going to wash it down with ice cold milk. Sweep right out of the daggum jug. Because why dirty up a perfectly fine glass? Happy trails, folks.